hi in this video tutorial we will learn how to perform thermal analysis using comsol multiphysics software so first of all when you double click on comsol multiphysics icon on your desktop screen uh, this window will be open the next step is to click on model wizard then click on 3d because we are uh, we are now performing the thermal analysis so uh, in the physics section uh, you will see different types of physics in the heat transfer option uh, you can see heat transfer in solids heat transfer in fluids heat transfer in solids and fluids uh, in this tutorial i am going to be perform the thermal analysis on a solid aluminium cylinder so I will click on the heat transfer in solid physics after selecting the heat transfer in solid uh, you have to click on the add uh, when the heat transfer in solid physics is added then click on the study then you will select one of the study option uh, from here i will select stationary and then click on done so here is the main screen of the comsol multiphysics software uh, you have to add some geometry to perform the thermal analysis then uh, you can you can design the CAD model uh, in the Comsol Multiphysics geometry uh, and also you can import the CAD model designed in other modeling softwares like SolidWorks, Creo, uh, Fusion 360 etc. So I will add, uh, add a CAD model designed in SolidWorks for doing that i will click on import then browse you can select the cad model uh, from the destiny from the location where you have placed it as you can see i have imported the cad model of an aluminium cylinder uh, at the bottom side of the cylinder uh, there is a heat sink which produces uh, heat energy heat radiation and uh, which is thrown on the bottom of the cylinder by an axial fan so after importing the CAD model into the Comsol Multiphysics the next step is to assign a specific material for assigning specific material you will click on the material and uh, from this menu you can add your specified material here is material library of Comsol Multiphysics you can select any material of your desire so here is the list of aluminium alloys you can select any of these by clicking on the material and then add material from here so I have already added the material I don't need to do that the next step is signing the boundary conditions uh, in the boundary conditions I simply added the value of temperature at the bottom of this cylinder you can see for doing that you can for for assigning any boundary condition simply select the face or body or surface or edge and then then you can add add from here right click and then add the required boundary condition 
so these are the boundary conditions you can add any of these by selecting it and uh, giving the specific value to the boundary condition like uh, in my case I applied 317 Kelvin temperature to the bottom surface the next is heat flux value the heat transfer coefficient of aluminium is 100 so I applied 100 in this tab next step is meshing meshing is simply divide the element divide the model into smaller number of elements so software can perform the mathematical equations and perform mathematical calculation on each and every small element then add all of the results of the elements to combine a total result from meshing option you can find different type of meshing like extremely fine, extra fine, fine, normal, finer, coarse uh, first uh, we start with coarse uh, and for the for, uh, for the validation of our results uh, we then select fine and then finer extra fine uh, it takes a little bit a little bit time the faster the speed of your laptop or PC the sooner the meshing process will be completed next step is study I already applied this stationary study then next stage is results uh, for obtaining your desired results you simply click right click on the results section and can add any of the 3d plot group 2d plot group uh, there are a lot of options there so when I click on the results here you can see temperature results no after after performing the simulation here are the results of temperature contour and uh, this is the temperature contour and this is the conductive heat flux magnitude you can see the band color band in this uh, the red portion of the the darker the darker red portion of the aluminium cylinder indicates that um, in this portion the temperature is uh, uh, about 295 or greater value than 295 Kelvin and the yellow portion indicate that here the temperature is uh, temperature distribution is about uh, 3 here this portion is about uh, uh, 308 or 307 Kelvin uh, and if there is a white uh, white yellow white portion in the cylinder this indicate that here the results of temperature are 317 Kelvin similarly this contour of conductive heat transfer highlights the results of conductive heat transfer values in the aluminium cylinder the next step I have also calculated the isothermal contour now you can see the temperature band it is more visible in this contour the yellow portion represents that the values of temperature is about uh, 306 Kelvin 309 Kelvin and 311 Kelvin and uh, the red portion here the red portion indicates that uh, the temperature distribution in the middle of the aluminium cylinder is about uh, 298 Kelvin 295 Kelvin and 300 Kelvin so in this way you can perform the thermal analysis of a solid body in Comsol Multiphysics uh, like and subscribe my channel for more upcoming
Additionally, you can also download the report automatically generated by the Comsol Multiphysics software. For doing that, you simply click on the reports. You can also download the report by clicking on the results icon, then reports and a brief report or intermediate report, complete report. I will click on the complete report. Now I can click on the generate. You can see the complete report generated by the Comsol Multiphysics software which includes all the information about the geometry, materials, boundary conditions, meshing and uh, uh, study as well as the achieved results after performing the simulation. From the report uh, you can know how about the fundamental equations that are running uh, on the back end of this uh, simulation software. So in this way you can generate a report using Comsol Multiphysics software. You can add the graphs, the tables and fundamental equations in your research papers and in your technical reports for presenting into your professors or in any conferences or research journals. Look, this is the equation. At the end, you will find the contours of temperature, heat flux, and isoth isothermal contour. So that's all from my side. Thank you for watching my video. Kindly like and subscribe my channel for upcoming videos.